So just to clear up any confusion, it's Mr. Right, not Mr. Right Turn. Some people get that confused. So. But my name is Josh Boulding, and I am a Facebookaholic. Um, recognition is the first step to recovery. Or at least that's what the counselor said. So. But I recognize I had this Facebook problem actually the other day on campus when I ran into my friend Rachel. Now she was on the phone, so I didn't want to bother her, but I, you know, I gave her a friendly wave. And she looked at me weird. And so, you know, I gave her another wave, and she kind of gave me a half wave and then turned around and kept talking on the phone. Now I was hurt because I felt that that was a very inconsiderate way to greet someone, especially a friend. And uh, however, as I thought about it through the day, I recognized that Rachel didn't look at me like that because she was being inconsiderate. She was looking at me like that because she had never seen me before. <laughs> I mean, I had seen her and her family at the Grand Canyon <laughs> and in August 16, 2007. I had seen her at her first BYU football game, 62 times actually. I had seen her living it up at the Y Fall 2009. I'd even seen her and her boyfriend, Skylar, who, by the way, Skylar, he needs to lower the privacy settings. I mean, the kid's obviously paranoid. <laughs> but yeah, um, trying to overcome this Facebook addiction has taught me a lot about myself, and uh, I don't deal well with rejection. And, uh, actually, I take that back. I deal well with rejection, but my mom doesn't deal well with it when I'm rejected. She gets very, I don't know, very Mexican. <laughs> like when I tried out for Hear You, I didn't make it. And she was like, so mijo, uh, how did it go? And I was like, well, mom, you know, I did pretty well, but uh, I didn't make it. She goes, what? What, mijo? Are they trying to say you're not funny? Oh, oh, mijo, I know what this is about. This is about race. Will you can tell them that I'll be there tomorrow because they don't even know me, mijo. I'm from the south side. They don't even know. You don't even know. I'm like, whoa. Whoa, mom, chill out. This isn't about race. They got two black guys in the group. <laughs> she was like, oh, well, why didn't you say something? You never even had a chance, Mijo. They already hit quota. You know how these things go? <laughs> Recently, my best friend, Siali, he's Tongan. Um, him and I, we celebrated our uh, favorite holiday together, uh, Martin Luther King Day. And he's very active on Martin Luther King Day because he can't understand that how on every form, you know, different races get their own race ethnicity box, except for Pacific Islanders. They have to share theirs with Asians. I mean, could you really classify two more different groups of people in the same box? Funny, uh, this form told me to check here if I'm a 350-pound rugby player or if I've ever performed in Cirque du Soleil. I, I just don't know what to do. Yeah, but he's inspired me to take a stand because I've recognized that after years and years and years of overcoming discrimination and overcoming oppression and overcoming separate but equal, no one likes that separate but equal evil, I've recognized that there's still one group of people that's discriminated against, and that's short people. I mean, we still have our own roller coasters and water fountains. It's ridiculous. <laughs> My friend Ciala, he suggested that I get a bunch of my little friends and we organize a march, but I thought that was creepy enough on The Wizard of Oz, so I decided to <laughs> However, I did decide to take a stand this year, you know, and so I got myself pumped up. Because, you know, whenever you uh, go to the water fountains and you arrive there at the same time that someone taller than you does, they always give you that look that says, that's right, you know your place, boy. <laughs> and it's just humiliating. So I, I got myself pumped up. And you know, like when you're trying to act all tough, you got that like mental dialogue going on. Well, I was, I'm gonna act it out because it was way hardcore. But uh, I made sure I arrived at the same time someone taller than me did at the water fountains. And I was like, yeah, that's right. I think I'm gonna take a drink here. <laughs> You don't even know me. <laughs> 